Hello everybody, I hope you're all okay and enjoyed the Three Little Pigs story yesterday. Today I'm going to read you this story. Now this is the true story of the three little pigs. Now this person here, the wolf, he's going to tell us his version of what actually happened. Shall we find out? Everybody knows the story of the three little pigs, or at least they think they do. But I'll let you into a little secret. Nobody knows the real story, because nobody has ever heard my side of the story. I'm the wolf, Alexander the wolf. You can call me Al. I don't know how this whole big bad wolf thing got started, but it's all wrong. Maybe it's because of our diet. Hey, it's not my fault wolves eat cute little animals like bunnies and sheep and pigs. That's just the way we are. If cheeseburgers were cute, folks would probably think you were a big and bad too. But like I was saying, the whole big bad wolf thing is all wrong. The real story is about a sneeze and a cup of sugar. This is the real story. Way back in Once Upon a Time Time, I was making a birthday cake for my dear old granny and I had a terrible sneezing cold and I ran out of sugar. So I went next door to ask if I could borrow a cup of sugar. Now the guy next door was a pig. And he wasn't too clever either. He had built his whole house out of straw. Can you believe it? I mean, who in his right mind would build a house out of straw? So of course the minute I knocked on the door, I fell right in. I didn't just want to walk into someone else's house. So I called, little pig, little pig, are you in? There was no answer. I was just about to go home without the cup of sugar for my dear old granny's birthday cake. And that's when my nose started to itch. I felt a sneeze coming on. Well, I huffed and I snuffed and I sneezed a great sneeze. And do you know what? The whole straw house fell down and right in the middle of the pile of pigs Pile of straw was the first little pig. He had been home the whole time. It seemed like a shame to leave a perfectly good ham dinner lying around. So I ate him. Think of it as a big cheeseburger just lying there. I was feeling a little bit better, but I still didn't have my cup of sugar. So I went to the house next door. The guy who lived there was the first little pig's brother. He was a little bit smarter, but not much. He had built his house out of sticks. I rang the doorbell on the stick house and nobody answered. So I called, Mr Pig, Mr Pig, are you in? He yelled back, go away wolf, you can't come in. I'm shaving the hairs on my chinny chin too. I had just grabbed the doorknob when I felt another sneeze coming on. I huffed. And I snuffed and I tried to cover my mouth, but I sneezed a great big sneeze. And you're not going to believe it, but this guy's house fell down too, just like his brother's. When the dust cleared, there was the second little pig, right in the middle. Now you know how food will spoil if you just leave it out in the open. So I did the only thing there was to do. I had my dinner again. Think of it as a second helping. And I was getting awfully full. But my cold was feeling a little better. And I still didn't have that cup of sugar for my dear old granny's birthday cake. So I went to the house next door. This guy was the first and the second little pig's brother. He must have been the brains of the family. He built his house out of brick. I knocked on the door, but there was no answer. So I called, Mr Pig, Mr Pig, are you in? And do you know what that rude little piggy answered? 
He said, get out of here, wolf, and don't bother me again. Talk about being impolite. He probably had a whole sack full of sugar, and he wouldn't even give me one little cup for my dear sweet granny's birthday cake. What a pig! I was just about to go home and maybe make a nice birthday card instead of a cake when I felt my cold coming on. I huffed and I snuffed and I sneezed once again. Then the little third pig yelled, And your old granny can sit on a pin? Now, I'm usually quite a calm fellow, but when somebody talks about my granny like that, I go a little bit crazy. When the police drove up, of course I was trying to break down the pig's door, and the whole time I was huffing and puffing and sneezing and making a real sneeze. The rest, as they say, is history. I hope you like that version. What do you think? Was it the three little pig's fault? Or was it the big bad wolf's fault? Let me know what you think later. See you soon. Bye-bye.